let's start talking about tablets. Everybody loves tablets. Everybody knew tablets were going to be a success. They always said so. Not so much. Tablet computers have failed every year for the last 10. Uh, Apple failed at it. Various other people failed at it. There were all kinds of tablets. And as of December of 2009, roughly, uh, no tablet computer, let me rephrase that, all tablet computers added together had never reached 1 million units in sales. What did Deloitte do? We got up on stage on January 19th in Montreal at our launch of TMT Predictions 2010, and I said, tablet computers aren't going to fail this year. New, different tablet computers are going to succeed. Well, that's kind of a vague forecast, Duncan. Why don't you make it a little more precise? Tablet computers will sell between 10 and 12 million units this year. It's all out there. It's on Ustream. You can go look at it. The reason that's such an important date, January 19th, is that the Steve Jobs press conference announcing the availability of the iPad wasn't until January 26th. When we announced 10 to 12 million units, nobody thought tablets were going to sell. On the 26th, all the Apple analysts said tablets won't sell because tablets never sell. By one month later, with all the buzz building, one guy on Wall Street said Apple might, might sell a million units. Two months later, the high estimate on Wall Street was 3 million units. Our number 10 to 12, high estimate was 3. Actual number sold by Apple last year, 15.1 million units, but 3 million were still in channel at December 31st. Number to consumers, 12.1 million units. Wow. So I know, I was 100,000 off. This year I'll try to be a little more accurate. You know, always, always trying to sharpen up. That speaks, I hope, a little bit to our, our desire to be counter-consensus, to be provocative, to think outside the box, uh, and we're going to keep doing that again this year. This should be a picture of a tablet. Uh, by the way, for those of you tweeting along at home, uh, that's, my, uh, that's my name. You can, of course, use the Retail Outlook one, but uh, Dunn Stewart if you want to do that one. So let's, let's talk a little bit about one of the markets that we think is a, a really emerging and exciting one for, for, t for uh, tablet computers. When I look at this little device here, uh, I see it as uh, something that I can use as an individual, and it's a toy. I play games on it, I might surf the web, I watch some videos, that kind of stuff. All great. But when I look at it through the eyes of a retailer, I see maybe some different things. What can I do with this device inside a retail environment? That's, that's the, the, the screenshot you have there is the most obvious one. Uh, same in, in uh, food service, obviously. You know, you've seen wine sellers. People are putting their wine list on this updated, you know. Oh, I'm sorry, we don't have that. Oh, I'll go back and check again 15 times. Isn't it nice to have it real time updated? Digital catalog showing you items, what's in stock, what's out of stock, different colors, uh, front and back views if maybe you don't have a physical item in front of you. Wow, that's, that's pretty cool. I can hang it on a wall and I can run videos of various things. It's in-store signage. Um, uh, I'm maybe in uh, home hardware, uh, retail, uh, hardware retailing, big box store. Uh, somebody wants to know how to use a new drill or install a part. It, it's an in-store kiosk, an information kiosk of non, not static, but, but, but continuously updated uh, information. And finally, as per Brent's point, uh, you know, you stick a, stick a card reader on this point of sale terminal. Run your retail budgets on all of those things. You know, digital catalog, in-store signage, kiosk, plus a point of sale device for 500 bucks. This is all of a sudden starting to look pretty interesting. Our prediction is that in 2011, tablet computers are going to sell between 50 and 70 million units. Uh, of those, surprisingly, almost 25% are going to be bought by enterprises. Now, not all of that's retail. Probably 3, 4 million around the world uh, devices selling into retail. But that's a, remember, Tablet computers before this in any year had never sold more than one million. Retail alone will be 3x the 2009, 2008, 2007 market. What a, what a cool transformation, right? So I'm not going to stop babbling about tablets uh, at least for another 30. See, when you make a prediction right, <laughs> You never stop banging on about it. It's, uh, it's, like, it's, like, it's like, you know, when you're, when you're a PhD and, you know, your paper, your, your thesis is really good. All you do is you keep rewriting it for the next 40 years. Two years ago, 98% of all the people who thought they were using computers were using PCs. This year, as a result of a tipping point being reached in 2011, more people will buy smartphones and tablets and use them as PCs than buy PCs. It's actually, this number is changing already. It's about 450 to 375 million this year. At the end of the year, one in four computing devices will not be PCs. By end of 2014, two out of three computing devices will not be classic PCs. We have moved from a world where the personal computer was virtually the only game in town in terms of computing to one where we are gradually shifting from essentially uh, a de facto standard to one of multiple standards. And that's a really important thing to uh, understand as a shift. 
when we're looking at that shift from a de facto standard to a diversity, the question that many people want to ask is, are we moving back to another standard? Because there's this real cool kid in the room called Android. And Android two years ago was 0% of the smartphone market. And this year, back in December, Android crossed over. It is now the number one operating system on smartphones. I mean, that, that's incredible, right? That's, that's such a short period of time for that kind of dominance. When you extrapolate that kind of growth and you take into, fact, into account the fact that Android's free, a lot of people are saying it's going to become the next Windows. It will become 98% of the smartphone and tablet world. And our Deloitte prediction is that won't be the case. If you go back in time to when Windows, when Microsoft was able to go out there and grab 98% of the, of the PC market, there's a whole bunch of things that were really different from today. Number one, nobody cared about PCs in 1981. It was a tiny little industry. Smartphones, tablets, hundreds of millions of units, worth billions, tens of billions, hundreds of billions of dollars. So very different perception as to the importance of the market. Next, who was, who was Microsoft going out there and, and, and beating up for, uh, for control of that operating system? It wasn't power. They weren't powerhouses. These were names like, uh, if anybody take you back to the past, remember, remember Wang? Remember Data General? <laughs> remember, remember Digital? I mean, competing against these guys for the consumer was not a real challenge. Um, Please compare that with what Android's facing today. Let's take a look at this. Uh, Microsoft Mobile, great reviews, but very small market share. So what are they doing? They're partnering with the number one handset manufacturer in the world today. Boy, that's, that's going to be, uh, are they going to go to 98% Windows Mobile on Nokia's? Gosh, no. But they're not going to zero. These are really successful, good companies with good technology. BlackBerry, it's not growing as fast as Android. But it is growing. It's growing about 40, 45% year over year. Introducing the playbook. Many of our enterprise customers are really interested in the playbook. Uh, so once again, not going to 90%, but not going to zero. Apple, you got to talk Apple here, right? Apple's currently about 20%, almost the same as Android. For Android to go to 98, Apple has to go to 2. Any, anybody here want to make that bet? Apple goes to 2% market share? OK, let's assume everybody at Apple gets massively stupid overnight, OK? they still have $59.8 billion of cash. This is not a company that's going to just say to Android, go ahead, you take the market, we don't want it. So for all of those reasons, Deloitte prediction, no player has more than 50% market share, even at the end of 2012. I'll actually push that one, and just with this crowd, I'll say I don't think anybody gets to 50 even by the end of 2014. I think we are facing a world of device diversity and of operating system diversity, which is great in some ways, no more de facto standard, and it's bad in another way, no more de facto standard. I'm writing a retail app, cost me $500,000 for Apple, that's great. Now I want to write one for Android. Well, I just change a couple lines of code and, and there we go. No, it costs you hundreds of thousands of dollars each time you want to develop to one of these uh, operating system standards. And sadly, that cost isn't going to change. 